Okay, picking up from the last video, we're going to go over a few more features of um, this motion manager. <clears throat> Suppose um, I'm just going to change the appearance of the base. <clears throat> Suppose we get about halfway through, and at this point, we would like the base to be transparent. So I just move the timeline over to here, and then I'm going to right-click on the base, and I want this to be just change the transparency. It's so actually I have to fly this out and I can click on that change tra transparency. Okay, so now you can see that if I play this, the base gradually goes becomes transparent. Okay, now suppose I temporarily want to not have it, you know, I've, I've kind of worked out this, <clears throat> these movements of the camera and I, I don't want it to move around. I just want it to be able to hold in just one spot, but still want to save what I have here. So in that case, I can just right-click over here on the uh, orientation and camera and click on Disable Playback of View Keys. All right, so now you can see that camera is, is grayed out. So in other words, if I say, actually, I just want to watch the whole thing from this viewpoint and hit Play, you can see now it's not... it's that whole line is grayed out. It's not moving. Uh, the camera isn't moving around. So um, another thing I might want to do is uh, add a motor. Well, actually, let me back up for a minute. <clears throat> um, so if I want to change the timeline, I can drag this. If I want to change everything and keep it in the same ratio or the same scale, you can see it says Alt-Drag to scale up or down. So, for instance, I can just hold, hold down the Alt key and move this over to 8 seconds. And then everything is just, uh, the time is increased proportionally for all those different movements. 